Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make developer products for your uh, speed simulator game. Uh, we're going to cover uh, coins products in this, so you can get plus uh, one, uh, plus 100 coins, plus 500, plus 1000, plus 10,000, etc. Um, and then I'll just show the basics and then you can go and make as many developer products as you'd like. And then in the next episode we'll probably do game passes. So let's get started. Under start to GUI, we're going to add in a screen GUI, which will be our uh, dev product GUI. Okay, now in this dev product GUI, we're going to add in a text button, which we'll rename to, let's call this, um, we'll call this like 500 coins. And I'll set the size to, what I'll do is I'll copy the size of the rebirth button uh, and just paste that into here, because I think that's a pretty good size. Uh, we'll get the same colour as well. Just trying to make the game look presentable. Like this, this will do. Um, on the right hand side of the screen. In fact, I'll make it a bit smaller because we don't really want it to be popping out at the user's screen. We don't want it to be an eyesore saying, you know, buy this here. So we'll make this text plus 100, uh, plus what was it, 500 coins. And I will give it a UI corner, be 0 0.30 or something. And then we'll duplicate this, bring it down. And this can be uh, plus one, uh, plus 2,500 coins. Basically just making it how you'd like it. We'll duplicate it again. Now you're going to have to try and even these out correctly. You could use a frame and a list layout, but it's just a bit of extra work. So we know that between the 500 and the 2,500 coins, uh, the 500 is 180 from the top, the 2500 is 236, which is a difference of 56. So uh, from 2500 to this, uh, we'll make this 10,000 coins. And now I'll duplicate this one again, and this will be the last one I'll make. And this one will be, I'll make this like 50 or 100,000 coins. And this one's going to be a bit harder to even out. We will actually have to look at the positions. So position the Y is 0.453 there, uh, the 2.5K, the, the Y is 0 0.366. So 453 minus 366, that's a difference of 87. So we have to do uh, this, so we have to do, so we have to do 45, 453 minus 87 is 366. Okay, now we actually need to go and make these um, dev products. Now before we do that, I'm going to hit game settings. And we're going to go to security and allow third party sales and hit save. Now I think you only have to do that if the developer products you're selling aren't your own. Uh, but I do it anyway. I don't think you have to do it if they're your own dev products. But I do it anyway just uh, to make sure. Anyway, now we need to go head over to our game. Okay, so under your creator dashboard on Roblox, uh, under your game, you want to go to associated items and go down to developer products and create a developer product. Now you can upload an image, I'm not going to. Um, we'll, and here we'll, we'll call this plus 500 coins for the first one. And I'll make this cost like 10 Robux and click create developer product. Then we can create a new one, uh, plus 2.5 thousand coins. And we'll make this, if the last one was 10, this is 5 times 500, that's 50. We'll make this uh, 45 Robux, just to make the users feel like there's a bit of a deal there. Then we'll make this one plus 10k uh, coins. And this is 5 times um, 45, or 5, yes, yeah, so 5 times 45, which is 225. So we'll make this 220, just constantly making sure there's a bit of a deal on each purchase. And then plus uh, 100k coins, which it'll be uh, 220 times, which will will make this one about two, about 1,500 robux. That's which is of course by far the best deal. Although that's very expensive, I'm not sure, not sure that's um, a good idea. But I w I'm not going to be selling these and um, anyway. So now that we've done that, you'll see under each pr product we have an ID. And this ID will be very important. You can just leave these for now. Just leave this um, tab open in the background. So back to our product here. 
We're going to get all the nitty gritty stuff out of the way first. Uh, we'll come back to programming the buttons, but for now I want to get the processing of the receipt done. So under server script service, we're going to add a new script, which we will rename this script to product handler. And this is where we'll handle our developer products. So in here, first of all, we need to say local marketplace service uh, to get the marketplace service. So we'll do game colon get service marketplace service. And then we need to get the player service. So local players equals game colon get service players. In fact, I'm going to do these with capitals uh, just to make it easier. And then what we'll do here is say local uh, product IDs equals and then these curly braces here which are creates a new table and we'll do a table of all the IDs so the first ID will be 500 coins so let's go back into Roblox and we want to copy the ID under here now if you can't directly copy it uh, you'll have to click on it go up to the URL and copy the second string of numbers but if you want you can just type it out and copy it from here so we'll paste that first number in there put a semicolon on the end and keep repeating okay so here we are I've pasted all my IDs in in order as well make sure your IDs are in order otherwise you might get confused so 500 coins here the 2.5k there the 10k there and then the 100k last uh, and I've also added little comments here so we know exactly what code relates to how many coins okay now that we've done that we will go to uh, we will need to say marketplace service dot process receipt equals function and in here we're going to pass in the receipt info now this is a function that is automatically called when the player buys a game pro a developer product and it will aut and it will automatically pass in all the info so the player's id the name things like that that uh the product id and just things that are necessary so in here we need to first of all get the player that has processed the receipt so we'll say local uh, player equals players colon get player by user ID and here we'll say receipt info dot player ID make sure all your capitalization is correct it is vital now what we'll do is if is we'll say if not player then so if the player doesn't exist if this is just uh, for whatever reason the player doesn't exist we need to return enum dot product purchase decision dot not processed yet so this means if the player doesn't exist for whatever reason, we are going to return um, the not processed yet, meaning that the receipt wasn't processed because the player doesn't exist. So there's no, we won't call any more code. That's it. We'll, we'll be done. Anyway, what we will then say after this if statement, we'll do another one. Say if receipt info dot product ID, spelled exactly the same, equals product IDs one because the first item, uh, so this one in square brackets means the first item of the product IDs table, which is the 500 coins ID. So if that's the case, then we need to say, um, well, we, we need to give them the, the coins. So we'll say player. In fact, I'm just going to do PLR for short because player is a bit long-winded. So player dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus equals 500 and then after this if statement at, at the very end we need to say return enum dot product purchase decision dot purchase granted that's very important that we do these returns here now back in this if statement we'll say uh, else if receipt info dot product id equals product ids two then we want to give the player 2.5 thousand coins so we'll just copy this, paste it in, plus equals 2,500. Now we'll copy this else if again, paste it, and this will be, if it's the third item, we want to add 10,000. And finally, if it's the fourth item, we want to add 100,000. And that is it for this uh, script here. Now we actually need to make the buttons work, so I will leave this open a minute. Uh, so we can keep referring to these IDs so we don't have to go back to Roblox. So under start GI under our 500 coins, we will add a local script. And in this script, we're going to say local market place service equals game colon get service marketplace service once again. And we'll say 
uh, local button equals script dot parent just so we've got that in a variable and then we can say button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and here we need to here's where we will prompt to the product purchase so we'll say marketplace service colon prompt product purchase passing in the player so let's make a player variable local player equals game dot players dot local player so in the, under this prompt product purchase we'll pass in the player and the ID so this ID for the 500 coins let's go down to let's go back to our product handler 500 coins this is the ID I'm going to copy that and paste it into these brackets here now that's the 500 coins done we can duplicate that put that in the 2500 and just replace the ID with the 2500 ID same again duplicate put it in the 10,000 uh, button and get the 10,000 coins ID paste it in and for the last time, uh, paste it again, get the 10,000 ID, the 100,000 ID, sorry, and place that in there. And that is it, I believe. So if we now hit test and play, you will see we have 40 coins at the minute. If we hit plus 500, so let me, sorry, let me just exchange this a minute. So you see we have 61 coins. If we hit plus 500, we and buy this so this is a test product purchase by the way you want your account will not be charged for this if you test it in roblox studio so if we hit 10 robux so we're going to pay 10 and it should give us 500 coins which puts us at 561 and perfect it does and you see if we sell and um it still keeps going up so now we're at five uh six five seventy five seventy two. 572 now we'll get plus 2.5k and they should put us at, uh, there we go, 3k, so that works. 10k should put us at 13k. Yep. And 100,000 should put us at 113,000, and it does. And you can buy the same ones over and over again. Uh, plus 2.5 thousand coins, there we go, done. Now if we hit stop and press play again. You see we reload with the same number of coins we left with. So that is perfect everyone. That is developer products done and dusted. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. In the next video we're going. I need to get more stamina. I'm going to uh, think work on some game passes. We'll do a game pass. One game pass per video just to make sure they're all clear. Uh, I don't know what game pass will do. But I'll have a think about it. Um, I also want to have a look at a couple of other things for the series i'm not sure if i'll go through with them but i want to have a look at them so thanks for watching everyone i hope you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe and goodbye